Hi, Story Wolf with rswsolutions.com. I want to show you quickly how to install applications that are distributed and licensed from uh, RSW Solutions. So when you complete a purchase, you'll receive a, an email with your license key and a link to the download for the software that you purchased. You can simply do a control click on the link, and this will typically use a browser, will open up and prompt you if you want to download the file. So in this case, I'm using Chrome, and yes, we want to keep the download and it will save it to the directory that you've specified for downloads. You can either open it from here or you can show it in the folder. That's all it will show it in the folder. So here's the actual application. Um, typically I want users to make sure they're running as administrator. So we'll right click on the file, run as administrator, which will begin the uh, installation process with the absolute topmost privileges to make sure uh, that everything's installed. It's a two-part installation. The first part is the actual application that you purchase from RSW Solutions. The second part are the drivers will be installed afterwards. So you'll see here we'll run through the typical standard installation that you're probably all familiar with. Just real quick, files are installed. And then afterwards the SI Labs drivers will be installed. When we hit finish, you see this is when we go to the SI Labs drivers. It's the second part of the install. Both are important for the operation of the hardware and the software, so make sure that your SI Labs drivers are installed. If they're already installed, it'll prompt you and it'll actually tell you they're already installed. So, installation is completed successfully. Done, done, done. Everything's installed. Okay, now what? So, we're using a Windows 8 machine here. Uh, runs just fine on Windows 8. You'll hit the Windows button, go to the Windows Metro screen, and just type in EAS Unlock or all comps or 4D can depending on the software tool that you've purchased and simply click on yes unlock and the software will load up for the first time now if this is the first time your software is loaded up you'll be prompted to enter in a license key that that license key you'll simply copy and paste it from the email that you were that you were sent and the software will activate online so make sure that your PC has access to the internet and make sure that your PC there's nothing blocking any connectivity to the internet so once you start the software you'll have to do an update for the very first time as I said here it just prompted us that there is an update waiting for us update will be installed you can right click on this and just say install update now update was installed Software is reloading, and see now we're running a new version. We're running a version higher. It's perfect. There was a there was an update waiting for us already out there. So the software has to have access to the internet, and it'll you know it'll activate through the internet, and you'll also need to perform one update for the very first time before the software will work properly. Um, so we can simply plug in the USB tool that we have here. Wait for the USB enumeration sound. Look in here, we see the status of the USB device has just changed to open. So we're ready to proceed with any kind of communications we want to perform with the vehicle. And in this case, we'll just go down to the module we want to communicate with and start communications. So uh, a couple things. Um, again, you have to perform an update first from the first install. Uh, you can also check for updates manually. Um, and if you have a problem with any of the steps we just outlined, what I'll have you do is hit store logs on the tools menu and then view logs under the tools menu. And that will give you access to all the log files with some of the debug log file from the date that you performed the communication test. Uh, also, you can, if you missed the driver install, you can say under the tools menu, view drivers. That'll take it to the directory that contains the drivers. It's also packaged in the install. And here's the executable you want to run. And you'll also want to make sure you run it as administrator. So these are some of the steps outlined to just go over the install, a basic install of the, of the RSW Solutions software. Please make sure to check my website at www.rswsolutions.com. Thanks.